fun things that people were doing. And um, it was just so exhilarating for me because I had, I was a dancer growing up and I had quit dance. Fashion, where do you think that love for that certain um, area of design and creativity comes from? So that's a great question. I don't really remember exactly how it started. Well, I was in 10th grade when I discovered fashion, I guess. Um, I somehow, I don't know who even started the subscription, but when I was in 10th grade, I started getting Teen Vogue magazines um, and I didn't order them. I Maybe my mom signed up for it for some reason. I don't know. But um yeah, Teen Vogue. And I just remember every month when they would come, I would just tear through them. I loved looking at all the different styles and um, fun things that people were doing. And um, it was just so exhilarating for me because I had, I was a dancer growing up and I had quit dance. And so I kind of was like needing a creative outlet in my life that wasn't going to take up like too much time because of school and stuff. So fashion was the perfect thing for me because, you know, I could be really creative with the clothes that I already had. Mm -hmm. I think for a lot of people, it kind of starts out as a hobby and then eventually just becomes a lifestyle the more and more you get into it. I think that's true. I think it started out with, for me, with like actually being intentional about what I was buying. And then after a while it, um, once I had like a, a base collection, I guess, or a base wardrobe, then it became a lot easier to just not have to think about how to look the way that I wanted to in a certain style. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Were there certain celebrities or fashion icons that you drew a lot of inspiration from? That's a great question. Um, I like to... Especially when I started out, I, my style was super eclectic. And so I liked to draw inspiration from like all kinds of things. And especially from like my travels, um, I spent a year of high school actually living in Russia. And so when we were there, we traveled to all different places. And um, so I loved just finding little things here and there in my travels and like incorporating that into my wardrobe rather than like a style icon though I would say I loved and still do love Karl Lagerfeld just because of how like outrageous he was while still being able to like keep things classy if that makes sense. I think uh, Karl's impact on the fashion industry is, is everlasting and it still occurs to this day even with him being gone of course. Yeah exactly. Yeah how would you describe your personal style? Um, I would say it's sophisticated fun I, that's how I like to think of it at least maybe I'm flattering myself but um yeah I like to keep I like to look professional because um I have a really like young face and so a lot of people don't I feel like I I can take myself more seriously if I look a little bit sophisticated but I also don't want to be like so buttoned up that I, there's no personality there you know what I mean uh, do you reach for more color in your wardrobe is there, or is it all about the shape and silhouette for you? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say I'm drawn to darker colors and neutrals probably. Um, and then, yeah, I must say texture and silhouette and shape more than like funky colors and funky patterns. Um, yeah. Kind of goes with that whole professional look too because I think um, colors kind of draw away from it, but you can kind of still put in your own little twist and taste to it. Exactly. That was always the funnest part for me is like having just kind of a little thing that made an outfit different from what everybody else had. Right. Uh, what advice would you give to someone looking to get into fashion, but is on a bit of a tight budget? Mm, I love this question um, because I think, uh, creativity loves constraint. And if your constraint is money, then that forces you to go out of the box and look at how you can make things work for you. It forces you to be resourceful. It forces you to come up with things that are different from other people. Um, and that goes with all aspects of creativity, but specifically for fashion. I mean, 
I love a good thrift store. And I think that you can find total gems at thrift stores that um, people overlook, but you can, you can try to repurpose. Um, I also love fabric paint. I think that's a really fun way to make something unique to you. Um, you know, buy some em embroidery floss. That's not expensive, but it um, gives you a way to personalize things and just make it your own. Mm -hmm. Something that I've been doing recently is uh, just sewing for my own stuff. So I've been doing my own tailoring. It saves you a lot of money. Um, and, and it looks a lot better when you do get to customize your own outfits, of course, right? So true. So true. Because you know the things, you know, you're like, oh, I don't like it when shirts are short in the back or whatever. So you can customize it to make it how you want it. So true. That's really cool that you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been into fashion since 10th grade for me too, probably. So it's a really? big part of my life. Yeah, yeah. How did you get into it? Um, it was more so just uh, kind of looking different from everyone else at school. Um, we're here in Edmonton, Alberta. That's where our marketing office is in Canada. And uh, everyone kind of just wore that same preppy outfit at my junior high and high school. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to branch out. So it started with the skinny jeans and everything. And now it's kind of gone into more professional business sense after graduating university. So it's... Uh, it's a big inspiration for me and uh, something I'll probably love for the rest of my life. Yeah, I know. It just becomes part of you, like you were saying. So really cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to pick your brain on a lot of this fashion stuff. because it's, it's nice seeing people who you share that love for, right? Yes, I totally agree. It's actually, I used to be really insecure about it. Um, <clears throat> like people would ask me, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? And I'm like, I like sewing and shopping and looking at fashion magazines, but like, that's not really a good group activity, you know? <laughs> so I was always insecure that like, that was my interest and my hobby. Um, but yeah, it's, it was fun to like meet other people that also shared it. And then we could like one of my best friends, we would, we loved doing photo shoots and finding fun new things to spice up our wardrobes. So 